Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're actually gonna be doing some very quick styling tips, I guess you could call them, but these are basically things that I've gotten questions about and they seem to be a lot of repetitive questions and people wanting to know how I do certain things. So for me, these seem like I don't know, very like simple little things, but, and to you, they might also seem simple, but to other people, they might be very helpful. So I thought I would just compile them all into a list and make it into one video. So yeah, I just think they're simple because they're things that I've always done. So I don't really know any other way to do them, but hopefully you find some of these helpful and you can take something away from them. So let us get started, shall we? So the first thing that I've gotten asked a lot over DM or just through comments and stuff is how to knot a shirt. So I like to knot like t-shirts up. I also have a sweater that I can knot up that I like to do for the cooler months. So I think this is a great thing to do because it can really transform your look, give it a whole other vibe. So basically, this is how I knot up my shirt. So I put on whatever shirt I want to knot up. You're gonna grab it where you wanna knot it. So whether you wanna do your knot in the center or on either of the sides. Typically I go for a center knot, but a side knot is also super cute sometimes. So you're gonna take your shirt, you're gonna grab as much of the material as you can because the more you have, the easier it's gonna be to knot it up and have it stay in place. So what I do is I'll grab like, I'll try to get like two fistfuls. With one of my hands, I'm gonna take two fingers and I'm gonna wrap the shirt around those two fingers. I find two fingers is really helpful because that gives enough room to grab the end piece with your other hand and pull it through. So then you're gonna take the end and just pull that through the loop that you've made with your fingers and pull it as tight as possible. So the tighter your knot is, the longer it's gonna stay in place, obviously. So I find this to be way, way easier with you know things like t-shirts, especially ones that are a little bit baggier. But like I said, I do have a sweater that I like to knot up and I think this this would be really hard to do with a thick sweater but my sweater is really it's a lot thinner it's more lightweight and it is baggier as well so I do have that extra room to knot it up so you just kind of have to know what you can and can't knot up as well some things aren't gonna stay in place as long and some things are some things with like more thinner material that are a little bit baggier those are gonna be your best bet for knotting up a t-shirt and another cute way you can wear this instead of just having the knot out you can tuck it under and that gives a whole other look as well more of a crop top vibe without having to you know cut your shirt up so there's that all right another question I have been asked is just how to tuck your shirt in in general so what I typically do I will take my shirt usually I start tucking around the front and I'll just tuck it as evenly as possible around my waist and then once everything is fully tucked in I always 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 pull it out a little bit because sometimes if you're wearing a more fitted bottom you get that bunching look that's going on underneath from where your shirt is laying so I always 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 pull it out a little bit and try to make sure that there isn't any bunching going on and that everything is super smooth so yeah by pulling it out a little bit that really helps and typically I'll pull it out a little bit more at the back and I always find that gives just a nicer little look to it in general so that's that's typically how I tuck a shirt in. And I also do this with my sweaters. I tuck in sweaters a lot during the summer, not during the summer, during the winter, like the fall and the winter months. Again, this does look better with thinner sweaters, more lightweight sweaters. It doesn't look as good with really chunky sweaters. So another question I've gotten a lot is how I do my half tuck. I think there's three ways you could do a half tuck. So you could do it either on your left side, in the center, or on your right side. I usually go for a side tuck. I just like the off-centered thing going on, but you know, do whatever you wanna do. Basically, I will just take a piece of my shirt on whatever side you're gonna be tucking it in, and you're just gonna take a tiny little bit of your shirt and put that into your waistband. So once that's in your waistband, then you can kind of adjust the rest of your shirt accordingly. And what I like to do, just like how when I do a full tuck, I like to pull it out a touch to make sure it drapes over my waistband a little bit. I don't like it if it's just fully tucked there and you can see where it's tucked in. So when you pull it out a touch and it just drapes over the waistband a little bit, it looks a lot more natural and a little bit more effortless, I guess, if you will. So that's typically how I go about doing a 
half tuck. Now with a half tuck, I also really like doing this with like a very basic button up blouse because I think that's a really cute, like very undone effortless style. And when I'm tucking in a button up blouse, I will always leave like a button or two undone at the bottom. It just makes it a lot easier to tuck in. And then what I'll take is the side where, you know how with a button up, there's always one half that's on top and one half that's on the bottom. So what I always do is take the half that's on the bottom and I'm gonna tuck that into my pants a little bit and then pull that out a touch. I just feel like it looks better with the bottom half out because the top half is already over top. <laughs> I don't know, I can't really explain it, but I just think it looks better with the bottom half tucked in a little bit and then pulled out and you have that very effortlessly chic outfit. How I roll up my sleeves, I feel like I've showed this in a video before, but we'll just quickly go over it again. So if you have a shirt and you want to roll up the sleeves on your button up top or whatever top, you're going to start with your sleeves all the way down. Then you're going to take your shirt from around the wrist and you're going to fold it up all the way to about the bend in your elbow. So once you have it folded to there, then you're going to go back to the bottom of your shirt. So wherever the end of the fold is, and you're going to take that and fold that up to your elbow. This is honestly like the best way to roll up your sleeves. It always looks super sharp and super clean and I have been doing this for years and it's it's the best. What can I say? And last but not least, one of my most frequently asked questions is what kind of bra do you wear when you're wearing your camisoles? I'm a huge fan of just like a basic, neutral, strapless bra. About 15 years ago, it was a long time ago, I think I was in high school, I was out shopping at the Bay with my mom, which is a Canadian department store, and I was looking for just like a very neutral bra, and I was like browsing through the bra section, and I was like looking at these certain bras and this lady like this stranger who was shopping near me she like comes up out of nowhere she's like this is the best strapless bra you are ever gonna try and she was like going on and on about this bra and I was like okay okay so she ended up selling me on this bra she didn't even work there she was just another shopper <laughs> so I was like you know what I'm gonna try it out so I ended up purchasing it and I have worn that bra ever since the lady was not lying. This is the bra right here. Most department stores sell it, on Amazon they sell it, or you could shop it on their website as well. The only negative thing I would have to say about this bra is that there isn't a wide color range, which sucks. All they have is this color, which is the Toasted Almond, I think it's called, and they also have a black shade. That's it, but I went for the Toasted Almond. I have, I'm obsessed with this bra. It stays up, which is what you're looking for in a strapless bra. A lot of strapless bras that I had in the past would like curl out around here and then you can kind of see down it. This one I have never had that issue with. It just stays perfectly fitted to you and I just, I absolutely love it. Like I said, I literally have had that bra like since I went shopping at the department store um, and that lady recommended it. I bought it right then and there and I had that one for years and years and years and years and years and it just recently like it was so raggedy i had to like get rid of it it was like falling apart at the seams so i recently just replaced it with that one because when that one was falling my original one was falling apart i'm like i can't live without this so i immediately like replaced it this is not sponsored whatsoever i just absolutely love that bra so i'll link it down in the description for you guys if you are interested but yeah that is the bra that i wear underneath my camisoles it's my ride or die bra and it's the one i honestly wear the most out of all of my bras because it just goes very seamlessly under under a lot of clothes even when i'm wearing like a very fitted mock neck top i have one that's like a cream color and you know how sometimes it can be a touch see-through i always make sure i'm wearing my bra like that because it just goes very very seamless so hopefully this video you guys found it helpful and hopefully i didn't ramble on for too long because i wanted this just to be like a quick little fashion tips video and please give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful or if you have any other quick little tips Tips, leave them in the comments below because I always love hearing your tips as well. Otherwise, that's it you guys. See you guys in my next video. Bye!